This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the relationship between cell potential and Gibbs free energy. In this table, we can see the relationship between cell potential, delta G, and spontaneity. If the cell potential is positive, the delta G is negative, and the reaction is spontaneous. If the cell potential is negative, the delta G is positive, and the reaction is non spontaneous. And if the cell potential is zero, the delta G is also zero which means the reaction is at equilibrium. So here we have the equation to calculate the delta G using an E cell value. The delta G is equal to negative N multiplied by F multiplied by the cell potential, where F is the Faraday constant, which has a value of 96,500 coulombs per mole, and N is the moles of electrons transferred in the reaction. Because one volt is equal to one joule per coulomb, the units of delta G in this equation are joules per mole. To convert to kilojoules per mole, we can divide by 1000. So next, we look at some examples. In our first example, we'll calculate the Gibbs free energy change for this reaction. The cell potential for the reaction is positive 1.10 volts. To determine the value of N, we need to look at the two half equations. In this reaction, the number of moles of electrons transferred is 2. We then input the values into the equation. Where n is 2, the Faraday constant is 96,500, and the E cell is 1.10, which, when divided by 1,000 and given to three significant figures, is negative 212 kilojoules per mole. In our next example, we'll calculate the delta G for this reaction. The cell potential for the reaction is positive 2.46 volts. To determine the value of N, we look at the two half equations. And as we can see, there are three moles of electrons transferred in the reaction. We then input the values into the equation, which, when rounded to three significant figures, is negative 712 kilojoules per mole. In our last example, we'll calculate the delta G for this reaction. The cell potential for the reaction is positive 2.00 volts. Once again, to determine N, we look at the two half equations for the reaction. In this example, there are six moles of electrons transferred in the reaction. We then input the values into the equation, which, when rounded to three significant figures, is negative 1.16 times 10 to the 3 kilojoules per mole. 